Hello and welcome to another episode of Gonna Do. So, living in Australia, uh, especially in Victoria, we are still under stage three restrictions. And that means that I cannot go camping. So that means that the videos I'm going to be doing today is just a small modification that I'm going to do to my camper trailer because the fact is that uh, when it rains, it, um, if I've got the kitchen out, it gets wet. So I've got this idea, I'm gonna see if I can work with it to try and keep that uh, water going onto my kitchen. But apart from that, uh, I'm also gonna do a review of the gimbal, which my camera is set up here, the DJI Osmo. Um, a quick look at that. Uh, and um, then hopefully at the end of this video, uh, on Monday next week, I'll get my drone back and I've got the uh, memory card still in, which I should never have sent away with it to get fixed. But hopefully I've got the crash footage on that as well. So let's have a look at this camper trailer and see where we go from there. So here's my camper trailer in my backyard and I'm going to uh, quickly set it up. Tent as well and the awning so that I can um, just show you what I'm going to do. All set up now. And you can see yep, like that. Now the problem I have with it is that that gap there, when it rains, that will drip down on my kitchen. Which I suppose is... Um, uh, easily fixed by pushing the kitchen in but if you're trying to cook a meal uh, it's a real pain in the butt so what I'm thinking of doing is somehow or other holding that flap on the back of the awning up against the tent I did try velcroing it up there uh, years ago but then if I want to lift the front up the tent up to get stuff out from underneath there um, it used to rip off and it caused problems. So I've got to make it so it, it comes up against the tent But I can still get my tent up. So I'm gonna to have to have a look at it and see what I can figure out Well, hopefully I've been able to come up with a solution to the problem I have of um, That kitchen getting wet when That there didn't seal. So what I've got is that strap there goes across to the uh, pole there and that holds the awning in position so it doesn't fold up so on the top of that strap I've been able to put a piece of velcro there and I put a piece of velcro there so we just strap that to there and then over this side I've been able to put a piece of velcro into the awning itself into this rail and a couple of velcro pieces there and that holds it tight so it's actually pretty good up along there so the only way to find out is to actually test it when it's raining which of course it's not going to do today it's a beautiful day here uh, really sad we I couldn't get out camping because it would be great I've had to keep that piece there and that piece there on which is a bit annoying so I'm gonna to have to watch it when I actually get up there and um, put the um, tent lifted up so I can get stuff out but I'll just have to work with it so we shall see how it goes okay it's now the next day uh, since I fixed the awning of put it back into the shed again, I don't need it because as I, as I said, it's in uh, lockdown and um, can't take it camping for at least two weeks. So um, I thought I'd tell you about something else that I've bought here, the DJI Osmo 3. Now I've got a GoPro 7 and I tried to get the footage of this on my GoPro. And no matter what I did, I couldn't connect. I couldn't get it connect to my phone. I couldn't get it connect to my tablet. Then it had a hissy fit and locked up. And I tried to do this, that and the other thing. And I've had this happen quite a bit. So I just chucked it back in the bag and gave up. So now I'm recording this on my tablet. 
I'm not that impressed with the GoPro. It does get great footage, but it just, it's so difficult for me to use. I just don't like it. So I will use it for getting footage on my mountain bikes, but I think that's about it. So I bought this, the DJI Osmo 3, as I said, and I've got the little tripod here, so I can use that. And I, the footage yesterday was via this, and it's just so easy to use. A little bit hard to connect the phone to it. I mean, the new model come out last week, it's got a magnetic base, which probably would be pretty good. So you just, you just hold, turn it on, and there we go, she spins around like that. Um, the, the, the app loads quite quick, connects to your phone. It also gives me 4K footage on this, rather than the phone's uh, footage, so that's even better. So I'm not gonna go through a tutorial on it and how to operate it, there's plenty of those on the um, internet, so I don't think you need to have another one telling you how to operate it. I'm just gonna tell you my thoughts on it. So, you know, you double click it, and um, it'll spin around. Okay, try that again. There we go. So I double click it and it'll spin around. There we go. It works well. Um, the only problem I have had with it was, is with this microphone, which is an aftermarket microphone. So I wanted to improve the audio that I get from it. So um, what happens is when you connect it to the actual thing and you go to spin it it yeah, jams on that so I'm gonna modify it not modify it but I'm gonna put a cable on there and put it around the side and hopefully get it on the top uh, hopefully fix that it's not a it's not a great problem um, certainly not interfering with it when I've got it in landscape mode um, but if I wanted to record sound out in front of it, um, you can't use it. So I hope if I get it up top there, I'll be able to do that. So that's the only dislike with it, but it's only minor. So uh, the buttons are quite, com not so much complex, there's a lot of functions with the buttons. So they are quite hard to figure out. But once you've got them, um, you know, it, it rotates, no problem at all. You can go uh, left and right and both up and down, um, control the video, photo, this button at the front here, this one here, that's the one that I'm talking about, it's got many functions, so you push it twice and it will go back to centre, you push it um, once, it will you know, lock um, that way, and then you push it once and hold it, it goes into sports mode, push it three times, I think it goes from front to rear camera, I'm not real certain on it um, but I'm getting there with it so at this stage um, I reckon it's a great buy certainly far better using this than my GoPro 7 so great buy for me well now I'm going to uh, show you the footage I've got my drone back from the repairers which is not really true I didn't get it repaired it was that badly damaged that it couldn't be used anymore so they just I just bought a replacement so it's quite expensive this crash but I did get the footage of it and after you see this video here I am um, going to show you the crash video so it, it's going up a valley um, obviously what's happened is I've set the return to home height at the wrong altitude uh, and going up the valley, it um, it got you know way too close uh, to the height um, of of what was returned to way up the valley. So when it um, lost video feed, um, it just didn't go up. It just comes straight back. And as you can see on the video, it turns around, and you can just see the tree it's going to go straight into. So um, I'll show the video to you and. Um, yeah, I'll put up some um, commentary, not some commentary on it, some writing on it, just showing you what's going on. So it did give me three warnings that this was going to happen, that I was going to lose video feed, um, and I just didn't listen to it. So I paid an expensive price.
and there you go there's the video footage of my crash so like I said um, made a huge mistake and hopefully I've learned from it because um, it did cost me 400 just over 400 Australian dollars to get another drone which yeah was really the price of um, buying the drone in the first place but um, anyway uh, that's the video that's all the video I've got this time um, hopefully the next one I go to do will be um, out and about in the uh, Great Australian Outdoors because hopefully we come out of lockdown not this weekend but the weekend after um, so I might be able to get out and um, do some mountain biking and do some videoing so if you like these videos um, subscribe and um, like them and um, I'll see you in the next one